Hofstow Acoustic Massive, otherwise known as WAM, um, started in 2012. It's a collaboration of Dick Smith's ukuleles and banjos mm -hmm. and my strung out violin. <laughs> And then we started doing it, we had a crazy idea of doing it with the banjos and the violins and it sort of all came together that way and we said, oh let's get a choir. We rehearsed in the same music venue, she was rehearsing her violins and I was rehearsing my choir and uh, we just seemed to ha hit it off and have the same idea about what we wanted to do in our community. Dick's ukulele class and within a few months he told us that we were going to be playing the Stowe Festival and <laughs> ever since then it's kind of grown and grown and we've we did about six or seven festivals last year and um, three this year so it's been, it's been fantastic. And, um, it really lifts, uh, it just lifts my soul somehow, um, the singing and when we get together with musicians it's just, even though it's not super professional, it's just such a big fabulous sound but I just I just love it. about WAM is that it's specifically for adults and that our motto is it's never too late and we encourage people from all walks of life and age groups from 18 up to 80 to come and join us um, and then to get on stage and that's quite a big step for people. <laughs> The other thing that we've realised is that um, other social activities are happening through WAM. Um, there are breakout groups, um, people are making new friends, they're building new confidences for themselves, all sorts of wonderful social things are happening as a result of, of WAM. And And um, I think we've, we've got over 70 members now, which is fantastic. Well, and uh, yeah, I love the music, the people, there, especially when the end, the ending, they were cheering up everyone, and yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah. It's nice to see the community getting involved. It's yeah. nice. They're excellent. I think the orchestra is incredible. Really incredible. We did Express Symphony last year, which is an original piece, and that was a special commission, and that was super challenging for everybody because they didn't know the tunes, it was completely brand new, they had to learn how to read musical scores, so they, they actually transcended all sorts of um, challenges that they hadn't anticipated so early mm. on in their careers as musicians, mm. and, and they were amazed when they came out the other side how much they'd learnt and achieved. <laughs> banjo now for two or three years and with 
this WAM group for the last year. And um, it's great. It's really enjoyable to be playing with a group of other people rather than just sitting on my own playing in my own home. So I'm really enjoying it. It's a very good experience very, because um, I used to play when I was younger and I've only just joined her group. And it's funny how all the sight reading comes back, but this just throws you in and the music's entertaining and it's, you know, it's a joy to do, so it's really good. Yeah. Um, the symphony is a, it's really nice because it relates to me, like my life in East London, living in Watson. So Because I cycle by the river and there's a line that says, um, I like to cycle by the river, so it's, it's really nice. It's, the whole thing is a good experience. And, um, getting together with Dick and Alison and creating music with these specific type of instruments, ukulele, violin, banjo, it just makes a really different sound. So you can take a song that everybody knows and it sounds completely different. And I think the ukuleles, when you've got 10 to 12, 15 ukuleles, are going chicky, chicky, chicky. It has this lovely little warm nylon wash of something going on in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then you've got these, these things at the back that are very harsh, so you've got quite a juxtaposition of sound. And anything in between that would, would destroy that. that, that it's quite unique for really. You keep saying you got something for me. Something you call love but confess. You've been missing where you shouldn't have been a missing. But the plan is that each year we go a little bit sillier and bigger, bigger and yes. chal more challenging yeah. and more kind of dream kind of um, idea of what we could do. Uh, maybe bring people in that are quite well known to work with us, solo with us. We brought Clive Rowe in last yeah. year as a, a big surprise for him to sing a song with us. We kept that secret until the very day, yeah. which was fantastic. Certainly approach a sort of more higher profile artist to see if they'd like to come and do something with us. Which I think makes it a little bit exciting. Cosmic Trinity, you have chosen to be with us at this open air festival at this time. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the show, and please remember, people, no matter who you are or what you do to live, thrive, and survive, there's always something that makes us all the same. You, me, them, everybody. collaborating with different cultural music groups so that we're sharing musical knowledge in different ways and you know just that kind of thing just mix it up a bit more and, and just keep exploring what's possible. Like